Well, this is James Dampney from AFL.com.au and I'm joined by Jake King, who unfortunately hurt your knee early in game one. Uh, mate, thanks for your time. We'll just start with how, how is the knee? Yeah, it's not too bad. So, um, for those who don't know, I actually tore the medial ligament. So I think I'm one of the first actually dual medial in the International Rural Series. So, but, you know, it's disappointing that it happened because I'd love to have played that, that game. And obviously for Friday night, the game coming up, I think we've got a lot to prove and we're, we've got a lot to pretty much make up for from our performance last week. I mean, you must have been pretty excited to get the call up in the first place to be part of the series. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I was more impressed that I actually got, got a letter saying um, you've been selected for the squad and, you know, we'll keep you keep you in the loop and let you know whether or not you've made it. And I think that there was an honour in itself. And then, yeah, to get the opportunity to put on the Guernsey and run out for, I think it was about 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> it, no, it was a good thing. And it must be pretty frustrating. Obviously, you would have been... You know, pretty primed for the game and then to get hurt so early on. Yeah, definitely. I'd sort of been training a fair bit and fitness was pretty good and it was more just learning how to kick the round ball and learning the skills and the tricks to that and it was getting better and I was actually really looking forward to playing and then, yeah, this happens. It's just one of them things, you know. So what made you decide to come up here and, and be part of game two? Uh, Rocket spoke to me and we had a chat and he said, look, come up. It's a good opportunity to mingle with the boys because we'd did a, a training camp down at Torquay and we'd been training with them the whole week so you get to know the fellas and they're a good bunch of fell, um, good bunch of bikes and I think it was more so that it, it's an opportunity that you may never get again so I thought I might as well make the most of it coming here and support the boys and you know let them know that you're still part of the group. So you've obviously got the brace on now. Is it sort of a three to four week thing and then you'll be able to get into to pre-season along those sort of lines? Yeah, well, we, we had the scans and scans obviously said the medial had a nice nice tear in it and, and we're hoping in about four weeks we'll be able to start running again and get back into things. So four to six weeks, we're hoping everything back on the track, away we go. So it's not too big of a downer because Christmas coming up and everything, you know, it's a long pre-season, so we should be right. Obviously, it was a pretty heavy loss in game one. You know, you're fairly confident the boys will be able to turn it around for game two? Yeah, definitely. I, I think just the pace of the game and it was a big eye-opener. We um, played a practice match during the week and the practice match we played wasn't the same side that went out there Friday night. The boys played a lot better in the first practice match and I think it was a bit of a shock, the, the first game against Ireland, but I reckon this week there'll be a big upset for the Irish fellas. I reckon we'll come home and boys will play well. All right, well, uh, thanks for your time. Good luck with the knee. No worries, thank thanks, you. Jack.